the fuck? You should really kill yourself. The fuck? Please, please kill yourself. So guys, today's review is Ray from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Let's open her up. There she is, right. Ray is a bobblehead from the Star Wars Hot Ones line. And I'm not sure if it's a defect or it's just the weight of the head, but this is sitting down very low. It's actually touching the body, which I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. But what it comes with is a little bag thing, a little cardboard thing in the back, a little stand, and the figure itself. Okay, let's go with the figure. Um, I don't know, as I said, I don't know if that's a defect or if that's supposed to happen. I probably made it worse by doing that, but I don't know, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments. But let's get on to the details. This helmet. I absolutely adore this helmet. Just the graphics on it. it <sighs> They look so cool, guys. They just look so cool. Her hair sticking out the back. I just love this helmet. I even love this scene in the movie. If you want to know what the scene in the movie is, it's when she's going back to her house, the ATAT -AT Walker. She puts on this little helmet thing and she goes, pew, 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 pretending she's a fight, fighter pilot. And that's when she's cooking up her quarter portion rations and whatever. Uh, she's got a little doll thing, which I really like, and her junker. Junker? Scavenger. Yeah, fit on. Obviously, the stand is for putting her on and standing her up on. Um, I really like this figure, especially the detail with the helmet. You can't actually flip up the the yellow thing, the visor. It's there, it's there permanently. And I like what they did with the visor, because in the movie, it's a very sandy visor. They could have at least put some, like, brown bits on there. You know, made it really look sandy instead of just the yellow visor. It has a little microphone here. It has her eyes, her nose, eyebrows, whatever. You know, the whole shebang. Um, so, final thoughts. This is a great figure. Really great. Just really disappointed about the whole body thing. As I said, let me know in the comments if that's actually supposed to happen with these figures. To be honest, I actually think it's because of the weight of the head. Uh, it should really be sitting up there. Or about there, yeah. But whatever, I really love this figure. All the details on it. You know. I just love this figure, guys. Um, 10 out of 10 by Funko. This is definitely going on a shelf. Uh, shelf. Shelf tour soon. Guys, uh, I'll just put out a few more reviews. Shelf tour soon. And a cup, and maybe a hunting video coming out soon, but anyway, I have been Funko Pop Hunter, this has been a Funko Pop Hunter review, like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next one, peace.